Hey friends. Okay, so this week we're learning about baby animals and we're going to have a couple of fun activities this week. Um, and we're going to be talking just a little bit about um, what happens in the springtime with the babies and how they're taken care of and what kinds of things that the baby animals have to do. And so tonight, I thought we would reread a book that you guys have already read before called The Three Billy Goats Gruff um, because it has a character in it that is a baby animal, right? A billy goat. And hopefully um, that'll be something that you guys can see when the barnyard comes on Tuesday to my house. So... The name of this story is called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. It is a fairy tale. And so that means that um, it is something that people have told for years and years and years. And this particular one is retold by Annette Smith. And this is published by Rigby. I love Rigby. Um, and it is illustrated by Pat Reynolds. I want to make sure I give everybody credit so I'm not infringing on any copyright. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goats Gruff. There was a little Billy Goat Gruff. There was a middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff. And there was a great big Billy Goat Gruff. Be thinking about who the characters are. One day in spring, the big billy goat gruff said the snow has gone now and the grass on the hillside is sweet and green. The middle-sized billy goat gruff said, well, we can all go across the bridge to eat the sweet green grass. So think about what the setting is. Where is the story taking place? When is it happening? Where is it happening? The little billy goat gruff came across the bridge first. Under that bridge lived a mean old troll. Who's that coming over my bridge, roared the troll. It's me, said the little billy goat gruff. I'm going to eat the sweet green grass on the hill. And the, billy, the little billy goat gruff, the sound it made was trip trap, trip trap, trip trap. Oh, no, you are not, roared the troll. I'm coming to gobble you up. <coughs> no, no, said the little billy goat gruff. Don't eat me. I'm too little. My big brother is coming soon. You can eat him. Very well. Be off with you then, roared the troll. Let me say that again. I need to sound like a troll. Very well. Be off with you then, roared the troll. So the little billy goat gruff ran over the bridge. Soon, the middle-sized billy goat gruff came across the bridge, came to the bridge. Trip trap, trip trap, trip trap. Who's that coming over my bridge, roared the troll. It's me, said the middle-sized billy goat gruff. I'm going to eat the sweet green grass on the hill. Oh, no, you are not, roared the troll. I'm coming to gobble you up. No, no, said the middle-sized billy goat gruff. Don't eat me. I'm too little. My big brother is coming soon. You can eat him. Very well. Be off with you then, roared the troll. So the middle-sized billy goat gruff ran over the bridge. Then the great big billy goat gruff came to the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's that coming over my bridge, roared the troll. It's me, said the big billy goat gruff. I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, sorry. I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Oh, no, you are not, shouted the big, great big billy goat gruff. 
Then the great big billy goat gruff put his head down and he ran at the troll. He butted him with his horns. He butted that mean old troll off the bridge and down into the water. And the three billy goat scruff never saw the mean old troll again. So when you look at these pictures, this guy's like a baby, right? This guy's a little bit older, and this guy is the oldest of the brothers, right? Yeah. All right, friends, I hope you have a great day. I hope you learn a lot and get some good practice on Seesaw. And I will chat with you later.